when setting up your basic starter kit for your baby python it doesn't need to be expensive so i'm just going to show you some really inexpensive ways of setting one up and how to actually put it together first thing is a water bowl you can get these anywhere fancy ones glass ones plastic ones from the supermarket or any other reject shop or two dollar shops use your imagination and depending on the size of the snake these i use for my children's pythons something that won't tip over. So this one is narrower at the bottom. So maybe just you need something that's wider so that they can't actually tip it over. A hide is really important and it's really good to have multiple hides uh, for your snake. Depending on what type of snake and what size depends on the hide. The hide needs to be small enough so that the snake can actually curl up in it and touch the sides. They feel really safe in a small hide. So I've got some different ones here. You can get these little black ones online for maybe carpet pythons and some small womers. I make these ones myself from PVC pipe. So it's a pipe cap. This one's 100 mil. Cut the pipe out and stick it on. These are really easy to clean as well. And this is a pipe cap, 25 mil for my baby children's pythons. The most important thing you'll need for your baby snake is heat. The snake needs to get at least to 35 degrees Celsius. You can either use a heat mat like this one. So this is a five watt. And for these small enclosures, that's all you need. The thermostat is very important. The thermostat regulates the temperature and makes sure that your snake doesn't get too hot, especially in summer. So we've got the probe here which measures the temperature. Set the temperature that you want the hot end or wherever the probe is, and then plug it into the power. These are really simple ones and you can get them online. The other important thing is a thermometer to tell you what the temperature actually is. So this is a probe type thermometer. They're about two to six dollars on eBay. And they have a probe on the end, similar to the thermostat. They're not always very accurate, but it does give you an idea at least of what temperature your snake is at. The next thing you'll need is something to put on the bottom of the box. Uh, you can use anything. You can use newspaper, paper towels. I prefer to use Breeders' Choice. This is my, what I like to use, Breeders' Choice cat litter. Recycled paper. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but it looks good. Uh, the snakes can burrow in it, and then you can actually spot clean it, and it you know, any smells or anything like that are contained. The other thing I like to use is Chipsy snake substrate. Again, it's a little bit pricey. Uh, it's wood chips, not actually sawdust. And it looks good. It looks a bit better than newspaper if you want something different. You can use any type of plastic box as long as the lid's secure from a seven litre Systema tub, which you can get at the supermarket, right up to the bigger ones. Uh, I got these ones from Ikea, just as long as the lid's secure, and these are big enough for adult snakes. But the principles are the same, water, hide, and heat. I use a soldering iron to put the holes in the boxes. Um, you can use a drill, but uh, the drill tends to crack the plastic sometimes and it leaves a really rough edge. Also make sure the holes are small enough so that the snake cannot get its head through. Um, a lot of fumes come off the plastic because you are melting the plastic. So just be really careful with that and make sure you do it in a well ventilated area. What I'll do now is I'll put it together. So you can see the front. This will be the front. This will be the back where the heat pad will be. I'll put the substrate. Make sure the substrate isn't too thick at the back end or the hot end so that the heat can come through. I've got the heat mat here. Put that under one third of the back side. Water bowl. The front. And put the hide, at least one hide, over the hot, hot spot. 
which is where the heat pad is. And you can also put another hide just located in a cooler section. If you've got more than one, two hides, you can even just put another hide there, depending on the type of snake you've got. Now the thermostat. Get the thermostat probe, put it through that hole. Sometimes you have to make the hole quite big to get the probe through. And you can just put the probe, you can either put it inside the hide if you want to, or just put it I'll just put them in the substrate. You may need to put a piece of tape on the outside of the hole just to prevent escapes. Don't ever put tape inside. So never put tape inside the enclosure. Grab your thermometer. I've got a digital probe thermometer here. Probe on the end. Just put that probe, you can probably fit it through that hole as well. And you can place that anywhere. I like placing it inside the hide. Just to make sure that the snake is hot enough. So remember you want a maximum temperature of 35 at least uh, under that hide. Once you've set your thermostat to the right temperature and the heat mat, you can introduce your new pet. This is a three month old children's python. So you can see the size, and this will do this snake for at least a year or more. You can also upgrade the size of these containers to the bigger ones anytime. And you can just use the same equipment, uh, just change the hides so that they're a little bit bigger as the snake grows. Make sure the lid's secure, because they're really good at escaping. And make sure those holes aren't too big. Uh, I don't usually put holes on the top. This is just a demonstration one. Um, because you may want to stack uh, stuff on top of this or you don't want the heat escaping on this side. And make sure the holes are small enough the snake can't fit its head through. I've written a basic care sheet with uh, all this information. So I'll link that below. And thank you for watching.